I thought it was interesting that Michael Jackson don't own their music. Yeah. Paul McCartney pulled Michael Jackson went to Paul because they were recording some songs like in the early 80s. Michael was just starting to grow as an artist. And he said, yeah, I was thinking of uh, buying some music. Mm -hmm. um, he said, and Paul said, good idea. Get a portfolio. Buy up music. And that's, that's how I kind of took my money and made it real money and made it like a real ongoing thing that will help me and my grand and my grands and great grands you know mm -hmm. when I'm long gone my great grands will still be collecting from music that I own and um turns out he ended up buying the Beatle music and Paul was like oh <laughs> ouch <laughs> ouch how did he do that that's uh, yeah. but who sold it to him it was uh, what happened, uh, apparently Yoko and, and Paul were dickering over the price. Paul was on the phone with Yoko every a couple of days, come, and, and they kind of said, I think we can get it for cheaper. I think we can get it for cheaper. Just hang in there. Let's, and he, Michael just swooped in and said, sold. I'll buy it. Because he could at the time. He put down, like, I think it was $45 million. Cash? Cash? $45 million. Cash. And he bought it. And what is it worth now? Uh, they probably couldn't put a price they on couldn't. it. They couldn't. They couldn't. But they have to for his... Uh... Well, the thing was, after he died, McCartney was kind of rubbing his hands together because he kind of felt like... Yeah, because there were a lot of stories whirling around which were true that Michael was in debt when he died. As most, right, yeah, he was most... I'd say I, most pop stars also black pop stars. They don't know how to manage their money. They end up with a lot of lawyers that ripped them off and right. mis mismanaged their funds. So he was in he was in serious uh, debt beyond belief with that whole ranch of giraffes and rhinoceros. So it's, it's crazy in his backyard. Crazy shit. Um, and they were saying he may have to sell his Beatles Well, catalog. that's why he was going to go on a tour. That's why he was going on a tour. He was, he was out of money, if you can believe it. Yeah. Out of money. I don't mind. But what do people... Anyways, uh, and there was some talk just after he died that, you know, he may, they may be able to recoup some funds by selling his Beatle catalog. And McCartney was like, yeah, yeah, sell the Beatle catalog. And he, he was probably ready to swoop in and, and put down what he felt he should do to get it, but he didn't get it. Apparently, uh, because he died and it was such a major thing, uh, his catalog his back catalog was selling in leaps and bounds for like months and he made it all he made all his debts he, After squ he died. squashed all his debts with his old catalog filler and bad and all his other records so he didn't have to sell it so the family owns it his kids own it and what's the story with his kids were they really his kids no they, they're uh, his, his, his his chiropractor yeah. It's chiropractor. It's the father and his dental hygienist was the mother. He has he they they're not his sperm. They're white kids. They look at they're white kids. And it was his chiropractor and his and his dental hygienist. Dental hygienist was some fat white blonde who had birthing it was like made to give to give birth kinda, you know. <laughs> and his his chiropractor was apparently a very good looking guy who Michael might have had a crush on. You know? How gay he was Michael. That that's that's something that only his hairdresser knows. Only his chiropractor knows. <laughs> the only <for> sure. chiropractor. <laughs>